do you want to make a hundred dollars trading forex every single day well then continue to watch this video and i'll let you know exactly how i do it myself now guys all right let's let's get something really clear right out of the way titles kind of clickbait you cannot make a hundred dollars every single day trading right that's an impossible anybody that says you can is lying to you right however the way that i trade within when you have proper risk management and a large enough account balance or not so much as good or risk management but enough leverage you will be able to make a hundred dollars every single time you win a trade if you risk the proper amounts and so with the strategy that i'm going to show you you will definitely be able to make a hundred dollars trading forex even more right you'll be able to make fifty dollars you'll be able to make a hundred you'll be able to make two hundred a thousand etc all right but yeah so without further ado let's get into it oh wait yes first let me actually guys let me show you guys the proof that i actually did make a hundred dollars trading forex all right how do i do this i'm gonna have to blur some things out guys simply because of the fact that i don't really want you guys to be looking at my account balance and such and like the all right you know that's not gonna work i was just gonna put a screenshot up um i'm gonna put a screenshot up on the video right over here there and that should be enough proof for you guys and yeah let's get back into the video so starting off as you can see we're in gbp and cd cells and well actually let me just go up to a clear chart let's go to fxcm right this is a trade that i actually took yesterday and so i took it over here yep that's good so let's go to the replay mode and we're going to start off at 8 a.m 8 a.m i trade from 8 a.m to 12 p.m every single day monday to friday i do not take any breaks any days off also there's a bank holiday or anything like that so 8 a.m i'm on the charts every single day cool. so when i go to the charts at 8 a.m i'm looking and analyzing our pairs what do i see i see this massive uptrend right that's all you see you see a massive uptrend on gbp nzd and i'm like okay cool so let's go from top down analysis now when you start from the one hour time frame view, which is your higher time frame, right? I look for one hour time frame as my trend trade, uh, as my trend, right? So whatever the one hour trend is, that's the overall direction I'm looking to take the market to trade it with, right? So although the five minute time frame is showing a very strong uptrend in the one hour time frame, as you guys can see, we are in a downturn. And just to let you guys know, a quick trip, just press reset short, and you can see, you tell just how far back you will, should be going to figure out anything. So as you can see, downtrend, I mean, you can put the trend line here. You can put the trend line here. Trend lines are very subjective, guys. Uh, I don't really like to use it. I like to use objective, non-discretionary methods. However, sometimes they do help, such as over here on the five minute. It's pretty easy to clear. Uh, for It's pretty easy to paint the picture for a beginner, right? So now I'm going to go to the 15 minute traffic. I'm going to look for some key levels to trade off of. Now, what do I see? I see that we are currently at around this level of resistance right and you could even potentially bring it up here because there are two wicks over here if you guys can check right over here there are two wicks however it is not necessary i'm just going to go to the top of the wick of the resistance and the bottom over here that's about right so now we are at a resistance level on the 15 minute time frame over our downtrend on the one hour time frame okay and so those are two confluences telling me that we are supposed to be selling. Okay, now, can we sell right now just because we're at resistance and there's a downtrend on those major timeframes? No, we cannot. We need more confirmation. Ideally, we need breaks of market structure, right? So the reason why I brought this trend line is I can actually just see this just, just looking at it because I have a lot of I have years of experience trading. But as a beginner, you guys might not be able to see. So here's what we're looking for. This is a lower high. Yeah. Oh no, higher low, higher low. That's why. All right. Is that higher low, higher high? Okay, so we have higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And let me turn on the dog too, actually. Okay. And then what do we have again? We go from higher low, we get a higher high, get a higher low, get a higher high, get a higher low. You guys get the picture, right? So higher highs and higher lows means only one thing. What does that mean, guys? It means that we are in an uptrend. So we're looking for a price to actually break the uptrend. And this is, keep in mind, this is exactly what I've looked at. And I have not took a single trade and I just got onto the charts. Now, this is still 8 a.m. So now what we're looking for is we're looking for this trend line to break, correct? And if the trend line breaks, the likelihood is that we're going into a downtrend. So now let's start playing. Bam, trend line breaks. Okay, so now we're going to go into a downtrend, correct? Not entirely. As you can see, 
That's not what ended up happening. So we did break the trend line, however, but we didn't end up going down. Now, what ends up happening now is that I did see a break of the trend line, but I tried to make the trend line a little bit tighter, right? Because that was a more, so especially if you're on the five minute time frame, that's a little bit of a longer trend line. We don't want it to be that long. We can draw a trend line just like this. And now when you look at it from this perspective, well, what do you see? We see that the trend line has completely broken and it's retesting. And now we're seeing a little bit of wick rejections. We're seeing a little bit of consolidation. So that is a good sign. Now, keep in mind that you guys might be thinking that um, the zone, it has broke above the, closed above the zone. However, if you guys remember, I did say in the beginning that you could have extend the zone like this. So that was in the back of my mind. I didn't do it simply to keep my shorts clean because as you can tell, that would be a huge zone. And I don't like to keep my chart. I like to keep my charts as clean as possible and as simple as possible. So I don't like having huge zones like this. So I just know in the back of my mind that although my zone looks like this, it is extended up to a certain price point. Okay. So we have the fact, but I'll, I'll actually just draw it over here just so it becomes a little bit easier for you guys. And I'll make this transparent. There. Okay. So we have the fact that price is still in a zone of resistance and it has broken the trend line to the downside showed a strong bullish momentum candle how it is having trouble breaking the trend line okay so i'm going to continue playing and i'm going to look for signs of bearish momentum starting to step up and what do we have here we have a consolidation at the trend line, and then we have wick rejections and now guess what maybe next candle okay. next candle what do we have so we have a very strong bearish candle close okay not only that but as you guys know, I love, 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 love to trade MACD divergences. And with this candle closure, we have the um, we have the confirmation that there is divergence on the MACD. And for those of you guys that don't know, divergence is essentially when there's just a, a difference in action between price and then the indicator. So for instance, over here, as we can tell, there's a high over here, and then price forms a higher high over here. But if you look at the MACD, we see a high over here, and price forms a lower low over here. So once the MACD ended up having a bearish histogram and started to flip bearish as long with the confirmation that we are at resistance. We are going to take a trade in line with the overall trend direction, that, which is bearish. And we have work rejections on the trend line as well. And at the resistance level and strong bearish momentum, I entered right at this candle closure as a market order. Set my stop loss a little bit like that. And I targeted a one to 1.5 ratio. And let's just play it and see what ended up happening. Straight down, move my stop is to break even right around here. And it was just easy, simple trade. And as you guys can tell, it continued to go down. And yeah, well, I mean, it didn't really continue to go down, but it did go a lot further than I thought it would. You could have gotten a one to two from this. However, no need to be greedy. I took my one to 1.5 or ratio. I took my hundred plus dollars and I got out the trade. So that's about it for this video, guys. Remember. The $100 a day trading, it's a little bit difficult to do. It really just is dependent upon your account size, honestly. But as long as you stay consistent with your trading and as long as you master trading psychology, you will definitely get them. All right, that's about it for this video, guys. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And see you guys in the next one. Peace out.